hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will explore the inner glow effect in photoshop uh, layers so here what you are seeing is a text which has been applied with various effects but inner glow is the the main effect which i am going to discuss and then we'll use in so i've created the same uh, effect to an empty layer and i'm just taking a brush tool and I'm, I'm just painting it and you should be able to see you're getting that a wonderful effect there so uh, let's explore this uh, effect all together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new layer and start from the scratch so let's close that and then take a new layer new file which is uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels and then uh, let's take a background which is going to be I just preferably keep uh, a dark color background and then uh, let's uh, type some text so that the font I'm using is the quirky class which is uh, having that uh, bubble sort of uh, effect so I felt this font is uh, more suitable for the effect what I'm going to apply so let's go to the layer section select the text layer and then go to the effects here and then choose this effect called uh, inner glow so inner glow uh, effect what you are seeing um, let's put this to default and this is what we have so the first most important thing is the color so color is um, uh, the glow which is coming from inside to the center from edges of the text it goes to the center so right now the color looks quite pinkish because the blending mode is screen I'm going to put it to normal and then I'm going to increase this uh, uh, size here and uh, choke is uh, the interpolation of the stroke from center to the edge so linear exponential sort of thing so we have uh, precise and we have softer again the way it uh, blends that uh, from the edges to the center changes in the soft and precise method okay so you can explore uh, uh, these values uh, to your requirement so just start sliding it and then see how is it working uh, you have uh, noise here so I'll be taking a dark color and then increase the noise you should be able to see that noise in the text so if you want that sort of brush to metal effect maybe you can try it for example I can go with the color overlay and then I'm going to choose a gray color here and for the inner glow I'm going to take a dark gray and that gives that nice uh, um, what you could say metal which is sort of grainy uh, in nature so you can get that effect uh, you can uh, later explore different contours to get that metallic finish and uh, okay so I'll be choosing that default so reduce the noise which is not really required here so we have a noise option I can just uh, choose that so we can also put a gradient in the color section I, I just go here and then just click this option and then choose uh, any of the metals uh, or any of the colors here and I got this nice uh, gradiency here uh, you can explore different uh, colors here uh, generally that suits your requirement okay so let, let's try in the noisy samples I should be able to see that beautiful uh, effect here I like this one and this one okay so um, you can uh, choose a solid color or you can choose a spectrum and uh, we have uh, as I said we have software option precise option we have one thing which is basically center to edge 
so let me go back to the color and then choose uh, to a red color and then inner glow let's put that to dark red so that gives that nice um, roundness to this text okay so you can explore the size and the choke option to get that nice roundness to the uh, text it's like a balloon effect okay so if I choose the center option now what happens is the center becomes the glow effect and it goes to the edges so in this case if I want a lighter color then I need to choose a lighter color here and for the color overlay I should take a darker one like that okay so you can again use uh, the choke effect and uh, yeah you have the contours you have checked that too so you can choose the contours here and then we have the range and then we have jitter again it, it gives you the noise and this button will allow you to um, make this whole effect as a default so whenever you open this becomes a default setting and if you want to reset it just click this reset to the default option so what I have done to achieve the text is like uh, I took both of them and then I've applied bevel emboss so bevel emboss uh, looks this way actually it looks uh, let me reset this and this is how this uh, bevel emboss looks like okay so what I will do is I will go to the shadow mode and then put this to screen and then that uh, removes the lighting from the bottom which makes it more glossier you can just try to explore the highlights and then start playing with uh, the contours okay you want it to be more glossy you can uh, do that also okay so that's how I generally did it you can explore the other types of uh, bevel embos and see what is really working for you so I'm just choosing this one and uh, let's go to the inner glow back and then just enable the gradients and try the gradients what I was talking so keep exploring and see uh, which one really works and uh, we have uh, okay um, you can go to color overlay or okay so that's up to you but uh, I feel yeah this is okay for me and color overlay I just wanted it to be slightly dark um, you can also try the dark green color or sorry parrot green and for the color I'll be choosing the dark green that looks really awesome uh, you can always try satin if you wanted and that gives that nice jelly effect and then last uh, I'll add a drop shadow and change the color to the green So it, it is actually a nice jelly color so I'm going to select the layer and then put a light color on the background. Oh it doesn't look nice. Let's go for a darker one. Okay. 
so this layer affect what you have created uh, can be copied to another layer so i can take a new layer here select this layer copy layer style and then select this paste layer style so what happens if i basically use any brush okay and then paint it you get that effect to that particular brush so you can explore different brushes and see what works and what doesn't work for you so there are endless possibilities here in terms of uh, the effects are concerned so whenever you see any material whether it is a denim or glass or something you see try to recreate it and uh, you have all that material properties in the uh, layer effects side so it's it's up to you how to how you want to utilize it or explore the possibilities there